Just a few hours, closing arguments will begin in a high-profile murder trial. Raekwon Borum, accused of shooting and killing Justin Carr during uh, the protests in Uptown in 2016. The trial has been going on for weeks now, but it's quickly coming to an end. NBC Trust Billie Jean Shaw live in Uptown this morning with more details. And Billie Jean, the jury, the jury today may decide if Borum is innocent or guilty and wrap this thing up real quickly. That's right, Ben, and it all depends on when the closing arguments will end. We know the closing arguments are expected to start today, and jurors will then deliberate on three charges, first-degree murder, second-degree murder, and possession of a firearm by a felon. In just a few hours, closing arguments will begin in the Raekwon Borum murder trial, and then the jury will decide if the 24-year-old is innocent or guilty of either first-degree murder, second-degree murder, and or possession of a firearm by a felon. Borum is accused of killing Justin Carr during the September 2016 protest in Charlotte following the police shooting death of Keith Lamont Scott. Tuesday, Borum's defense team rested his case without calling one single witness to the stand, including Borum. Instead, their focus was getting the judge to allow jurors to deliberate on lesser charges of voluntary and or involuntary manslaughter, but the judge denied the request. The evidence does not support such, such a submission to the jury. And speaking of evidence, prosecutors are relying on what they presented over the course of the trial to land Borum behind bars. That includes a phone call Borum made to a friend while in jail the day police arrested him. Man, they showed me she pointed the gun. And Ben and Carolyn, out of those three charges, if Borum is convicted on first degree murder, he will serve a life sentence in prison without the possibility of parole. So, of course, we'll keep you updated on what comes out of this trial this morning. Reporting live in Uptown, Billie Jean Shaw, NBC Charlotte. Billie Jean, thanks.